Right now, I'm at Linville Falls, North Carolina, part of the Blue Ridge Parkway, and I'm getting ready to take a hike to Linville Falls, and you're going to get to see some of the scenes along the way. That's the Linville River behind me. This is part of the National Park Service. It's definitely worth your trip here. It takes uh, maybe for fast hikers, you can get there and back in 30 minutes. Might take me 30 days, but we'll see. Thanks for watching. Let's go. The trail is going to follow more or less the river, the Linville River. If you go beyond the river, beyond the waterfalls, there, and there are two levels of waterfalls, you'll get to the beginning at some point of the Linville Gorge National Wilderness Area. I know better than to go there. This bridge makes the trail look easy. As we get into the woods, it gets a little more difficult. It's a pretty wide trail, it's meant for a lot of people, but it is uh, uphill, a lot of it. It is definitely a nice day for hiking. I've seen a lot of folks out with their dogs, that's always fun. We're over 3,000 feet at this point. Makes it for cooler days, even in the summer. You can't camp right on the trail, but there is a National Park campground at the entrance into Linville Falls. There are a few benches here and there for hikers, and I usually take advantage of them, but I'm gonna pass this one up. You will get to a junction. To the left is Upper Falls Overlook. You can see just 500 feet away, and Chimney View Overlook is three-tenths of a mile away, and there are other overlooks that direction. I'm not a been there, done that kind of person, but I'll say for today, I'm going to the Upper Falls Overlook and we'll call that it. Let's go. So there are folks like me who follow the rules. I won't be getting in the water, but there's a good chance we'll see someone out there maybe just waiting, but that's all it takes. And you would not want to fall off or fall over these waterfalls. So most of the hiking was uphill to this point. Now we're going down to the Upper Falls for Linville. And you can see maybe that the trail at this point starts going downhill, which means that it'll be uphill on my way back to the van. Downhill for me is much easier than uphill. You might see it differently. So this is the first view of the Upper Falls, almost like Twin Falls, I guess. And uh, the water, the river continues downstream and has an even bigger fall below us that you get a great view of if you take the Upper Trail, the other trail I mentioned a while back. So the river continues on downstream from the falls you just saw. And you can see it goes through these narrows and heads on down. You would not want to fall down that river at this point. So I'm getting ready to head back towards my van. I'll pass the uh, National Park Visitor Center. It has a pretty big bookstore for a small little uh, stopping point. The Big Falls is behind me. It's the one you have to take the other hike it goes even more uphill, the three-tenths of a mile or so. Uh, it's worth going. And I have time, but I've got other places I'm going to go see today, and I know I'll be back here again. So if you get this way, do stop in. Linville Falls, Blue Ridge Parkway, here in the mountains of North Carolina. So a little addendum to my hike. I finished it, and I want to tell you, if you go up to Linville Falls, go ahead and do the other part of the hike. And I think I missed out on a lot because after the falls, you get to see part of Linville Gorge and that's part of the wilderness area. But right now I'm at Linville Falls Winery and that is a great way to finish my day. It's just about 10 minutes away and you should check it out. Linville Falls Winery, not too far off the Blue Ridge Parkway. Thanks for watching.